This video goes over the fifth grade standard of writing numbers in standard word and expanded form. Here is an example of a number in standard form, that same number in word form, and that same number in expanded form. Standard form, 23,406,381 and 97 thousandths. Standard form is the form that you most likely think of when you hear numbers. There are two areas I'm gonna go over that students sometimes struggle with. First, how do you read very large numbers without getting tripped up? And second, how do you read the decimals? Very large numbers. Numbers are written in groups of three called periods. I'm gonna use the word family, but the, the mathematical term is periods. So let's go ahead and go up to the first one. We always start on the left side. And what number do you see there? 23, you see 23, and so we say the word 23, and then we add what I'm gonna call its last name. It's not 23 by itself, it's not 23,000, it's actually 23 million, so you tw say 23 million, and move on to the next period or family. 406, 406, and its last name is thousand, so it's 406,000, and then we move on to the next period or family. 381. Okay, so that's how you read very large numbers. So if you can read a three-digit number, you can read any size number as long as you know the period or the family that it belongs to. The other area people are sometimes struggling with are decimals. How do you how do you read this? I mean, it's 97, but it certainly isn't 97 million or 97 ones. It's 97 something. And because it's a decimal, we know that's less than one. It's it's part of a whole number. So 23 million. 406,381 and 97 something. Well, let's go ahead and put our blinders back up so we're not worried about anything else. The great part is that naming decimals is simply just knowing the place values. We have the tenths place here, the hundredths place here, and the thousandths place here. So it's 97 and it ends in the thousandths place. So we say 97 thousandths. Here's a strategy I show students to help them with that. Uh, write a one under the decimal point and then draw your line and there's a zero under the other digits. And so it ends up being a fraction, 97 over 1,000 or 97 thousandths. And incidentally, that's its worth. It's worth 97 thousandths. Those fractions are the same as the decimals that you read off. So that's how you say a number in standard form. Word form. Word form are just numbers written out using words. Uh, you might see this in literature, maybe some street signs. The place I see it most often is when I'm writing or receiving checks. You write your standard form in the little box on the right, and on the line you have to write that number in word form. If we're saying this number, it's 54,097 and 23 hundredths. And that's the nice part about word form is that you write it out however you say it. So let's go ahead and take our blinders again. And let's start up here with our families. We don't have anything in the millions because that would have taken a long time. Uh, I, I don't want to take that long on. So let's go on, move on here. 54, hmm. Well, how do I know that's 54, not 540? Well, because even though we can't see it, there really is a zero in the hundreds, hundred thousands place. So it's 54. So we're gonna write the word 54. 54. Now we know it's not just 54. We know that's part of the thousands family, so we write 54,000. Let's go ahead and move on to the next period or family. And then we have the word, or uh, the number 97. So 90. Seven. And if you remember the last slide, what do we write for our decimal point? We write the word and. So we'll go ahead and write the word and. I like to emphasize that. And, and what number do you see there? We see 23. Well, it's not 23 in the tenths place. It's, it's 23 in the hundredths place. And so using our strategy, writing our one with the line, the zero, zero. Let's move that arrow out of the way. We can see that's and 23. And that ends up being hundredths. And 
that's how you write a, a number in word form, just however you say it. Expanded form. Expanded form is, is the form that you don't see as often in everyday life. Uh, and in our class, we use it as kind of a number sense form uh, to, to help students understand what the digits actually mean. This is not just six, it's actually 6,000, but if you're looking at the standard form, it just looks like a six. And so expand form kind of dives into that, well, okay, what, what does this number actually represent? So again, I'm gonna use my blinders because I think that if, when you look at a very large number, it can become overwhelming. So we're just gonna deal with it one digit at a time. So that's six. And guess what? You just write six. But six what? It's six in the thousands place. I'm gonna write a little thousand six in the thousands place. And, the, and that's the beginning of our expand form. Let's go ahead and move on to the next place value. Ooh, we have four, and, and that's in the hundreds place. So we're gonna add to our six in the thousands, we're gonna add plus four in the hundreds place. And that's the, the tens place. So we're gonna write plus three, in the tens place. Uh oh, it's a zero. Well, what do we do with zeros? Well, we could write zero times one, indicating zero in the ones place, and if it were another digit like eight, we would write eight times one. But commonly, people just kind of skip over it. We don't write anything because we know zero times anything will give you zero. However, if you do run into it uh, as zero, just know that it just means that there's a zero in that place value. I've seen it both ways. All right, there's our decimal point, so we know we're going over into the decimal area. That's a seven. If you remember from the previous slide, this is the tenths place. So you write seven, and seven times what? We know it's times something. Well, it's in the tenths place, so it's seven times one tenth. So two is in the hundredths place. So we add plus two in the one hundredths place. And we move on over to the eight, and that's the thousandths place. Plus eight in the one thousandths place. And that's this number written in expanded form. 6,430 and 728 thousandths. And that's expanded form. Again, used to kind of help with estimation uh, and mental math.